Hello Sudoku friends, welcome to another evil level puzzle from whipsudoku.com. By the way, you should take a look at the description for this video. I had me some fun this morning with Google's generative artificial intelligence tool. Its name is BART. And I asked it simply what Sudoku does for my brain. And uh, you'll have a great fun, I think, looking at the answer below this video in the description. I'm hugely interested in artificial intelligence, and I'm also acutely aware of the possible dangers. Anyway, let's continue. Anyway, let's get on with the anyway, let's get on with the puzzle here. Two and a three block over, so a two and a three must go here and here, and therefore these squares must be a one and a four. We also have fours blocking over here and down here, so here is a four. And eight blocks down and down and over, here's an eight. We got a one and a four here, one and a four here, one and a four must go down here. We already have the four, of course, so one must go here or here. And we know that one of these must be a one as well. This one blocks here, so a one is forced into this square here. Now we just need a two and a nine for these two squares. The nine blocks over, so here's a two and here is a nine. Three blocks over, so a three must go in one of these squares blocking down. Three blocks over. Uh, we're not quite there yet, but okay, here's a three blocking down. So a three goes in one of these two squares blocking over. That might come in handy a little later. I'm seeing nines blocking over, so one of these is a nine. Here we're looking for a three, five, and a seven. So this is a five or a seven. This is anything, and this is a three or a five. Six blocks up, six goes here or here. Can we say anything else about the sixes? Well, one six blocks down, so here's a six. And by the way, the nine also blocks over, so ah, it's a little, a little flimsy. But the five, of course, blocks over here and here, so here's a five. One three and a seven here now. Two three and a seven here now. So two must go over here somewhere, and therefore here or here. A two must go up in one of these squares here, and that gives me an idea. And the idea being, <laughs> this is nice. A two must go in one of these squares. We also have a five. So fives and two block here. Five and two block here. Five and two block here. So guess what's going to go into these two squares? If you're guessing a two and a five, you're absolutely right. And that leaves three squares, and they can't be two and a five. Therefore, there must be a three, six, and a seven. And we got a three blocking here. This is a two or a five. We have got a three blocking here, so here's a three. This is now a six, seven, and this is, and this is a six, seven. We got six and sevens here. We also have a seven blocking up this way and a seven blocking over. Ah, that's not quite enough. Oh, a three blocking down, of course, and down. So here's a three. I nearly overlooked that. So a two or a five here, seven here or here. The last digit is a six, so we'll need a six also. And 
the six must go in one of these squares because this is a two or a five, isn't it? So a six goes here somewhere and blocks up. The six blocks over. One of these is a six. One of these, rather, is a six. Anything else of a value here? Not that I can see immediately. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> this must be a three because we got a three blocking here and here, right? So how easy can it be? This is now a two and a seven. And since this seven blocks over and we have a seven blocking up, this cannot be a seven. Therefore, it must be a two and this must be a seven. Now we got a seven blocking down and one seven blocking up, one blocking over here is a seven. Therefore, this must be the six because these still have to be a two and a five, remember? Now we got a six blocking over and a six blocking up. Here is a six. Up here, we're looking for a two, four, and a seven. All we know is that a two must go up here somewhere. Now the two is blocking down here, so this is going to be a two, and therefore this must be a five. Now we know that these squares must be a seven, six, and a five. So a six blocks up and a six blocks over. One of these is a six now. And I'm not able to place it yet. But with these three digits, five, six, and seven, we need four more for this column two. They must be a one, four, eight, and a nine. A nine blocks here and here. So one of these is a nine. A one must go here or here. Four, nine, one, eight. Nine, eight, one, four. That's all very good, but not helping. One of these is a four, though. So four blocks over, so one of these is a four. We know that. Six, eight, and nine for these squares. Also not helping. Ah, but a two blocks over and over, and we got two twos blocking down, so here's a two. And now we know where the threes and two go in here, don't we? Because this three blocks here, this three blocks here, this three blocks here. So here's the three. Therefore, this must be a two and this must be a three. A three now must go in one of these two squares and in one of these two squares. Let's see if this changes anything at all. Two blocks over, two blocks over, two blocks down. Yes, it did, did change something. Here is a two. And I remember a six had to go somewhere here. Yes, now the six blocks over, so here is a six. That gives me a six over here somewhere. But now a one, four, and an eight. Eight blocks over here is an eight. This is a one, four, one blocks up. Here is a four, here is a one. Last digit up here must be an 8. And here we are looking for a 9 and a 4 now. 1, 4 here, 9 and 8 here. And here a 5 and a 7. The 7 blocks up, so it's a 5 here and a 7 here. And therefore here. And here, this is now a 4, 2. The 2 blocks up, so here's a 4, here's a 2. This is turning out to be quite a pleasant puzzle, I think. I don't think that we are going to need any advanced logic, but I like the flow of this puzzle. Two digits uh, missing here, a 4 and a 9. The 4 blocks here, so here's a 9, and therefore a 9 here and a 4 here. Over here, 
we need an 8 and a 1. Let's see. 8. I don't think I can place that yet. What about these squares? Another 1 and also here yeah, we can also not do anything. So let's see if we can set the hook somewhere else. Oh, we did have a 3, 5, 7 in these squares, didn't we? And there's a 5 and a 7 now here. So this has got to be the 3 and this is a 5, 7. And we know that this is 3 blocks over. Now this 3 blocks over and this blocks down. So a 3 must go here. 7 blocks over and down. Here's a 7, making this a 7, and this a 5. The last digit here must be the 6 that we were talking about earlier. Now we got a 6 here, or here, and here, or here. These three squares have got to be a 5, 9, and a 1. 5 blocks down, so here's a 5, 1 blocks over, here's a 9, here's a 1. We got a nine blocking over now and one blocking down. So here's a nine, and that has got to be an eight here from memory. Blocking up, so here's another eight, and here's a one blocking down. One blocking up, one of these is a one. One of these is a six, and the other one has got to be a five, which blocks down. So here's a six, here's a five. Now, six blocks up and over. Here's a six. These were a nine and an eight. We got the nine now blocking up. So here's an eight, here's a nine. This must be a one. These were ones and fours. So the one blocks up. Here's a four, here's a one. Quite a decent uh, evil puzzle, I think. Well, evil or not. It was a little harder, I think, than the average in New York Times part puzzle, but no more than that. But I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. Bye for now.